Hello, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 4. It's another day at the lake house and I figured today would be the perfect day to take you guys through my 2023 highlights. I absolutely love making videos like this because it's such a fun way to reflect and really think back on the year, which if you guys have watched the first three days of Vlogmas, you know that's why I'm here. So why I'm at the lake house is for a little business retreat, spending some time to reflect and really like think about 2023 as a whole, as a way to plant the seeds and really manifest Fest everything that I want in 2024. And I made a video last year of my 2022 highlights and going through that process was so much fun. Like I really enjoyed making the video and I have really enjoyed looking back on that video and getting to see what some of those highlights were. So I figured we would do that again today. So the way that I like to go about this video is literally, I like to go through my camera roll because I am someone who definitely takes a lot of pictures, takes a lot of videos, and that is just such a great way for me to be capturing memories and it's a really easy way for me to then kind of look back at the year by just kind of scrolling back so let's get into it as i go through this what i'm going to do is i'm going to be putting screenshots up here to kind of show you guys the different photos that i'm looking at on my phone as i kind of speak to the year highlights 2022 ended in a really strong way matt and i had a really nice dinner together at home and he cooked us a like a really nice feast he made us a risotto with some steak and asparagus we made a gorgeous salad and we got dressed up for like a little at home date night. Also, I took pictures with my friends for New Year's like around our building and stuff. So that was super fun. And at the start of the year, Matt and I had a little brunch date at Public. It was something that I actually ended up making a little reel out of. And there's this little video clip of Matt just like cracking me <laughs> up. So just seeing that, I was like, wow, we started 2023 off on such a good, silly, goofy little note. And I love that. So that was the start of January. And then in the middle of January, Matt and I went to New York to spend time with my family. It is both my dad's and sister's birthday in the middle of January. And so we got some family time and my sister's partner Orlando was in. And so it was just really, really fun. And my sister and I also had a city day. So we were in the city together, we went out and got the best gluten-free dumplings ever and just talked a lot and it was just a really really nice sister day those were the highlights of january then i ended up getting my hair chopped at the end of january so i got a nice short cut and in February, I did a fun little giveaway gift card thing with my favorite local restaurants. So gave away a bunch of different gift cards to local restaurants, and that was really fun. And for Valentine's Day, we had a little girls night. We went to this bar. We all dressed up in like red and pink and stuff, and we played, it was like a boozy bingo girls night. And then in the middle of February, Matt and I went to Florida. We went to Coral Gables for a family friend's wedding, and it was so much fun because the weather was so nice. It was so nice to escape the buffalo winter, get some sunshine, get some warmth. My dad was also there for the wedding, so we got some nice family time with him, and it was the first wedding that Matt and I attended together. So getting all dressed up, and it was like a black tie wedding at the Biltmore in Miami, so it was very fancy. We also ate amazing tacos, like we got such good food in Florida, and I fell back in love with the reading and I have been on that kick literally since then. We went to this amazing, exclusively gluten-free restaurant called Fresh First. It was so good. At the end of February, I was super grateful. I got a big package of goodies of like protein and a sweatshirt, t-shirt, hat note from this amazing brand called Up To You Nutrition. They make an amazing protein powder. At that point was like one of the best and biggest brand swag. Boxes or like pizza our packages that I've ever gotten and it's crazy to think and just reflect on that for like how far I've come in less than a year and then in March I went to San Diego for social media marketing world it was so much fun I went with my now teammates we had such a good time and I actually happened to freaking run into a kid that went to my high school at the conference this kid Isaac Fulati was there and it's just such a small world because Isaac and I literally stayed at the same house in the Hamptons as part of like after prom. So it's just crazy, like what a small world. Like I went to a pretty big high school and me and 
a kid who I was close enough friends with that we stayed in the same freaking house. Ran into each other in San Diego and he lives in Israel. So like the wildness of running into him at that conference was just crazy. So that was a definite highlight in March. When I got back, to Buffalo in March. It was when Parade, which I am like a Parade ambassador, they launched their Target presence. And that was also one of the first times that I like was taking brand deal content out in public, which really, really helped to build my confidence for doing that kind of work. And at the end of March, Matt and I had a little paint night where we just like bought some paints for super cheap, bought some canvases and just had a paint night and- Oh my God, that like made me fall back in love with painting and I'm also seeing that March was the month that I started making a salmon bowl. So like I started air frying salmon and making these bomb rice bowls for dinner, which I have been really into literally since the end of March of 2023. I had a really great speaking engagement on the last day of March at the University of Buffalo, and then had a lunch with fellow board members because I'm on the board for the School of Management Alumni Association at the University of Buffalo. So we had a little board lunch. And then in early April, I did a two hour workshop for the Center of Entrepreneurial Leadership. So that was super fun. I got to wear my green power suit that my mom had gotten me. I loved putting that workshop together, crafting it, and I'm super excited because in February 2024, I'm going to be delivering that workshop again. And in April, we went to New York again. We visited my dad, we visited my friend Jen, and got to meet her new baby and got to see her beautiful house and just get that amazing quality time. Matt got to meet all of the Silverbergs for the first time in April. And so that was super special. We had a family Easter over, <laughs> um, a kind of joint like Easter Passover thing. And that time was just so much fun. I got to go to guys night with my dad and see all his friends. So that was a really, really fun dinner. And then at the end of April, my good friend Jen moved from Buffalo to Denver. So I've got pictures of her and I at like our last little brunch, which was so nice. And I remember telling her then at the end of April that I was gonna be leaving my full-time job. At Now Marketing Group to go back into doing my own stuff. And so that also is just like so wild to see because I know that it was this point where I was like, okay. And I just went full steam ahead with my business. In early May, I pursued my business full time. And so I've got a bunch of photos here of just like different brand deal stuff that I was doing with Canyon and or outfit photos that I was taking. May was all about diving into content creation, doing outreach for business and brands and just having so much fun in the process. And I ended the month again, chopping my hair, getting a nice little haircut and Matt treated me for my birthday to a fancy manicure. And we celebrated my birthday with my close friends, Anya and JP and their sweet daughter Evelyn, we all went out for dinner at Compass Run before Compass Run closed in 500 Seneca. For Memorial Day weekend, I went on a boat cruise with a bunch of other Buffalo-based influencers. And that was really great because that was the first time that I met this group of ladies, which as you'll hear, I ended up doing a number of different other things with them. So at the end of May slash early June is when I started working again with the University of Buffalo. Blackstone Launchpad, which has rebranded as the Collab. But my mom visited at the start of June and that was really fun because we had so much fun hanging out at home. And then my mom treated the two of us to a one night overnight girls night in Toronto. We stayed at this really nice hotel. It was super fancy. It's so much fun. We went to this amazing Mexican restaurant called El Pocho, which is completely gluten-free. We got gluten-free tacos and churros. We got palomas for drinks. So Toronto with my mom was so much fun and we stopped at the Aritzia outlets on our way back and I did some major Aritzia shopping. So that was like the middle of June. And then at the end of June, I went to Pittsburgh to go see Taylor Swift for the first time. So I went to the Eras tour. Everything about that weekend was pure freaking magic. I manifested and got the blue crew neck. We had the best freaking seats at the concert with the most insane view. It was just incredible, like absolutely breathtaking. We had the best time at the concert. It was just honestly one of the major highlights of my year was going to this concert. It was so much fun. And then right after that, I drove myself to Lima, Ohio, where I got to present for Social Media Week Lima. I got to speak. I was the opening keynote for day two of the conference and it was so much fun. I crushed my talk got to see 
my old teammates, got to reconnect with fellow speakers and just have so much fun speaking on that stage. And then at the way end of June, Matt and I got free tickets from Shays to go see Dear Evan Hansen. That was so much fun getting a little theater night together. Basically the last day of June, I got my tattoos. So that was really exciting, was getting tattooed by Mel and meeting Mel. And shortly after getting my tattoos, I was invited to this little influencer event for Buffalo influencers at the Seneca Niagara Casino. So that was the actual last day of June. And I loved getting to meet all those girls. I got to meet Be Abigail, who does Bleached by Abigail. And like, I'm obsessed with her stuff. She's so awesome. She's such a hard worker. And in the beginning of July, so on July 3rd, Matt and I went to a Trevor Hall concert at Lincoln Hill Farms. 10 out of 10, recommend going to that. It is such an insane concert venue. So much fun, it was the first time I'd ever been there. Matt and I had a lot of laughs. It was a beautiful day. And shortly after that, on July 5th, we went to a production at Musical Fair. We went to go see the 12th night and it's been so much fun getting to work with Musical Fair as a local influencer. And then it was Gouda's birthday on July 10th. I took him to Knox Farms and then it was the middle of July. So I got myself some Barbie themed nails for July. And what else happened in July? Oh, we went back to New York. Back to New York to get more time with family. My sister was visiting, so we got time with Sarah. We went and all saw Sweeney Todd as a family, which was amazing. Matt got to re meet my stepmom, Ronnie, for the first time, and we got more time with Jen. So we went over to Jen's house again to get time with baby Jet, and oh, it was just the best. So that was July. We walked around Central Park with my sister, had ourselves a day went out for dinner with my dad, went to Central Park, just so much fun. That was like a really, really nice way to end July. Then I got another new manicure, a little neutrals mani, and then Matt and I, at the start of August, did a little weekend in Toronto. So I've got pictures from that. We, again, we went to El Pocho. I got such a good truffle pasta dish, like, oh my God, it was so freaking good. We stayed at the Andor house, which was really awesome. It was such a good location. And we just had such a nice weekend in Toronto. It was two nights away and it was just perfect. It like really, really filled up our cups. I feel like we came back home and we were just like, in our element, you know? Mid-August, we went to Pittsburgh to get some time with family, visit my great aunts. And then at the end of August was my friend Katie's baby shower. And that was so much fun. I absolutely loved that baby shower. It was a beautiful event. I got to reunite with the girls who all, we all went to the Taylor Swift concert together. So that was really, really fun to do. In early September, I got reposted by Soph Mosca who I freaking love, so that was super exciting. And also, we got a new nail thing and some more tattoos. So in early September, I got my pinky tattoo, which you'll, you'll have to just see the tattoo vlog if you wanna see it. So we also went to another musical fair production. I wore this really fun green dress that I had gotten from Aritzia that I hadn't worn yet. And then early September, September 8th, there was a Taylor Swift like laser bar night thing that I went to with my neighbor girls. We had so much fun at that thing. That was like a really, really good girls night out. Then in the middle of September, September 19th, the collab relaunched. So I've got pictures of me, me and Hadar at that event, which was so much fun. And then at the end of September, I did a girls getaway weekend in Ellicottville. So that was really, really fun. That was really where Missy and I, I feel like kind of created our idea for the Creators Network Initiative, which when we get into November, I will tell you about. For that was the end of September and it was a really fun way to end the month with that girls getaway weekend. We went zip lining, we had a fun dinner out. And also in September, Matt and I did a photo shoot. We got really, really nice fancy pictures of us taken. So I will show you a few of my favorites here because getting those photos back in late October was like so, so exciting. Early October was my friend Amelia's wedding. That was on October 7th. That was so much fun. We all got dressed up. I love this picture of me and Nicole. Uh, the next weekend, October 12th, Matt and I went to a Sabres game. So we did a little sports go sports and then on October 13th the day after was the Taylor Swift era's movie premiere so we went and saw that with Matt's mom which was so much fun 
oh my god it was like such a good time and then on october 18th missy and i started to like hit the ground running like we really were in full force planning for our creators network initiative event and on october 21st matt and i went to another sabers game with my friends anya and jp we had a really really good time we had so much fun together the end of october october 23rd my mom came to visit because her and i did a content collab together we did a real for canyon bakehouse making my grandma stuffing recipe and that was so much fun to do together we had such a good time and i get all my camera savviness from my mom so it was just really cool to get to do that little project together at the end of october so october 25th matt and i went to go see moulin rouge we were gifted tickets from Shays to go see that so that was really fun to go do that and then october 27th i got my new brown nails the nails that i'm rocking right now still brown chrome literally obsessed and on october 27th that was 1989 taylor's version launch so matt and i hosted for the first time at our apartment we had friends over i put up balloons streamers we had ourselves quite the freaking look for a party and it was so much fun. My friend Allie brought a Polaroid camera, so that was super fun because we like took Polaroids, which is like so 1989 of us. And on October 29th, Missy and I had our Creators Network Initiative launch kickoff event and it went so well. It literally could not have gone any better. It was amazing. It was freaking amazing. Like we had so many people show up. The energy in the room was just electric. Like it was so freaking good. I just couldn't believe it. Like it was just the best. The last day of October on Halloween, I was on the news. I went on to Daytime Buffalo. I was the guest on Daytime Buffalo and got to talk all about the power of user generated content. I got to talk about the Creators Network Initiative kickoff event and just got to talk a little bit about what I do and how I help businesses. So that was such a strong and amazing way to end October. Early November, Matt and I went to Spears, which is a local jeweler, and we started looking at rings. So like that is, that is quite the way to end a freaking year, if you ask me, and or a freaking way to start a month, right? That's how we started November. And then I came here to the Lake House Canadaqua. It is about to be December, so that's why I'm filming this now. That has been kind of part of my goal for Vlogmas, is I wanted to start filming in the end of November so that every single video that I make for Vlogmas has purpose and intention. I didn't want to just do these kind of vlogs just to vlog and make them throwaway vlogs. I really wanted every single vlog to have a purpose. That is the purpose of this vlog, is recapping the year, sharing my favorite moments, showing you some of those moments, and really just feeling into the gratitude and appreciation and beauty for everything that happened this year. My heart just feels so full. That is my 2023 wrapped. It was such a good year and I genuinely think that 2024 is going to be even better. So I am so freaking excited for it. So if you guys like this vlog, hit the thumbs up and be sure to hit the bell so you don't miss out on future vlogmases because I have so many more things planned for you guys. I'm gonna be doing some styling videos for you guys. I'm gonna share with you my favorite gluten-free frozen pizzas. We're gonna do a little gluten-free frozen pizza review. I have so many ideas for Vlogmas this year. So make sure that you hit the bell and subscribe because the next vlogs coming up, we've got best books I've read in 2023, my nighttime routine, and my favorite smoothie recipe. So stay tuned for those three coming up and I'll see you guys tomorrow.